Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you the difference between a standard channel and a private channel in Microsoft Teams. So, what is the channel? First of all, what is channel in Microsoft Teams? A channel is just a way to separate your conversations with different uh, subjects, different topics. Uh, when you create a new team, you only get one channel called general, but you can have as many channels as you wish. As you can see here, I have different channels within the same team. All right. Again, think of it as a way to separate your conversations, uh, just like different uh, topics on a forum kind of thing. And um, for example, on this particular project, on this particular team, maybe we want to have a channel for uh, the discussion of business requirements. So maybe we want to have a channel for management to discuss all the management decisions. Again, it's just a way to separate conversations. That's all. Now, uh, again, by default, when you create a new team, you get one channel uh, called general. You cannot really do anything with it. It's kind of a catch-all, um, uh, you know, uh, kind of a catch-all, uh, you know, standard channel that you have. You cannot even rename it. Uh, it comes in standard. Uh, but you can create additional channels. You can create additional channels uh, on your team. And let me let's do that. Uh, so let's say we want to uh, we want to create a channel to discuss business requirements on the projects. All right, this is maybe a channel just for business analysts. All right, here we go. Here here is the name I supplied. Now before we create a channel, uh, we have this option to choose from in terms of privacy. Uh, you can create either a standard channel or a private channel. What is the difference? A standard channel is essentially a channel that will be seen by everyone. All right, a standard channel pretty much honors the security of the whole team. So whoever is part of the team, let's say 10 people are part of the team, there are 10 members, they will all have access to the standard channel. All right, nothing will be hidden. All the conversations, all the files uh, will be part uh, of this, uh, of this uh, standard channel and essentially everyone will get access to that. Private channel, in contrast, will only be accessible to those who are part of that private channel. All right, so essentially the files, the conversations will only be accessible and seen by those who are part of that private channel. Um, so there are some nuances uh, regarding both channels. So let me demonstrate those. So let, let's create a standard channel, here we go. Uh, and um, again, all we need to do is just click add. This is kind of a standard channel as the default option. Here we go. Uh, perfect. So the channel has been created. As you can see, it appears over here. All right. Now let's go ahead and let me show you what happens also behind the scenes. Um, I would like to go ahead and let's say uh, we need to discuss a document or something. So here we go. It usually takes uh, a bit to set it up. So let's refresh the screen. Here we go. Perfect. Let's go ahead and upload the document. Let's just say we need to discuss this document. Here we go. Uh, and a personal message to the team. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. Now, where does this document, document reside? All right. I just uploaded the document uh, with my message. Where does the document reside? If we click on the Files tab over here, here is the document, all right? Uh, essentially, it got uploaded to the channel. But physically, where does it reside? Let me show you. If we click Open in SharePoint, all right? So what you get to see over here is the SharePoint site that got created when we created the team. All right, here is our document. But let me explain to you. Let me show you what actually happened behind the scenes. When I created this Team ABC, uh, team, all right, a Microsoft team, it created a site. Remember, it's all tied together through uh, Microsoft 365 group. So uh, when I created this team, it created a site as well. All right, on that site, it created a document library. And within the document library, it created a folder, automatically one for every standard channel. So here is our general folder that got created. And here's, here is our business requirements folder that got created. And here is our document. All right, so the bottom line is every time you upload uh, a document to a standard channel, it gets uploaded to a SharePoint site, uh, to a document library to be precise, uh, on the SharePoint site that gets created. And it actually gets uploaded into the folder that has the same name as the channel. All right, so if you have, let's say, 
If I were to create five more channels, five more standard channels, they would all be here, right? Uh, so that's what the standard, uh, that, that's what happens when you create a standard channel. Now let's go ahead and create a private channel. So uh, let me do that. Uh, you click the three dots, add the channel. Let's create a folder for management, all right? And I'm going to choose private. Now remember private is only accessible by those who are, um, you know, um, who are part of that private channel, not by the whole team. Click next. All right. And we can add some people here. Uh, all right. I, I'm going to skip it, but let me explain to you something about this. Uh, when you add people, uh, you can only add people who are part of the team. Hopefully that makes sense, right? I mean, you cannot add someone who is not part of the team to begin with. So uh, make sure to only um, only type in the names that these are the only names you will be able to invite of the people who are already part of the team. You have to be part of the team in order to be a member of the private channel, all right? And I'm going to skip that, uh, all right? But uh, what happens is the channel has been created and you will get to see the little lock in here indicating you know, to you, to everyone that this is a private channel. Very important, this will only be seen, this channel will only be seen by those who are part of the uh, private channel. So if somebody is not, they are not even going to know that this exists, they're not going to see it on the list, they will never see that, all right? Now, what I'm going to do now is uh, repeat the same steps I did before. I'm going to go ahead and upload a document. And again, it takes usually uh, a few seconds uh, for it to be set up. Here we go, let's give it another try. Here we go, perfect. So let's just say, you know, within the management channel, uh, we want to discuss this budget document, all right? Um, here we go. Perfect. Now, where does this file reside? Again, if I click on the files tab, here we go. This is the file uploaded to the private channel. Now, where does this file physically reside? Let's see. If I go back to my SharePoint site, let me just refresh it. All right, I don't see it. I don't see it. Even though obviously I created it, I'm part of the, uh, I'm part of that uh, private channel. Um, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't appear in the list over here. So where does it actually reside? Let me show you. If I click open in SharePoint button, here it is. Here is my file. But let me show you what actually happened behind the scenes. All right. Uh, let me click on that home button. I want to show you what actually happened behind the scenes. When I created this private channel, what happened behind the scenes is that the whole, a brand new separate SharePoint site got created. Right? Not just a folder, not just a folder within the existing site, like with standard channels, a whole separate SharePoint site got created. And the name, it has the following uh, naming convention. Uh, it has the team site name. This is the name of my team, dash the name of the private channel. All right. So I got a whole separate site just for my private channel. And the reason this happened is for security reasons. All right. We want to make sure that this private channel is not going to be accessible or seen by anyone who is not part of the channel. Now, it's a pretty much a whole separate site. It seems like a regular SharePoint site, but uh, actually it's not. Uh, you cannot even, you cannot do much here. You see, I'm missing even the ability to set permissions because permissions are driven by the security of the private channel in Microsoft Teams. And um, it seems like, again, a regular SharePoint site, right, with all the different widgets, but I really doubt that you will ever use this for, for anything other than just storing documents, all right? Uh, the whole purpose of the site is pretty much the ability to store and organize your um, you know, your files uh, that are meant, uh, the, you know, that are, that are, you know, uploaded to the private channel. So um, here's the document library on that site. And if I click and if I navigate inside of the document library, you know, I, I again, I get, uh, I get a site uh, with that name, but I also get a folder with that same name. Um, and uh, here is my file. Here is my file. All right. So very, very important. Um, completely different behavior, all right? Completely different behavior uh, between a standard channel and a private channel. Uh, when you create a standard channel again, you just get a folder uh, within the site that is tied to the team. When you create a private channel, 
you get a whole separate site. So if let's say you have a team and let's say you have, um, you know, I don't know, three standard channels and then five private channels, you will get a total of six SharePoint sites. All right. You will get one for each private channel plus one for all the standard channels. All right. So very, very important to understand what happens behind the scenes, because at the end of the day, you kind of need to be aware where your files reside. All right. So that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.